welcome to Shuey X Spirit 3. So the Shuey race helmet. Right, so let's start with the basics. So first thing you'll notice will be the new and improved shape, which has been developed with the bigger fins at the back, um, developed from the X Spirit and the X Spirit 2. You'll also notice big of a big advancement with stability on the helmet are the turbulators along the visor here what that does means that high speed makes it very stable um, not that I want to endorse it but I can quite happily say they work right let's go into sort of internals so if we do you want to come in closer so if we have a look at the internals fully removable uh, liner it's also fully adjustable so you can have it positioned differently on your head whether you want it up or down uh, depending on your head shape um, this all happens from the cheek pads in here where you can adjust them across to where the helmet is going to sit you can also do this with the crown as well what that means is that you can go into the full showy perfect fit now the way showy work is that we can offer different um, thickness and thicknesses on cheek pads and skull caps which means we can get a perfect fit on your showy helmet so the other thing we need to be looking at here, going back to the outer shell, is your ventilation. Now there is a lot of ventilation on this. Because it's the race helmet, it is designed to keep the rider cool. So continually opened vents at the back, which is all of this here and all of this here. At the front, we have two upper vents so you've got one smaller one here and one big one here and you've got two lower vents one here and here now what you will find is that this time of year it's cold so a lot of the time you end up generally just with the one or the two lower vents open and two upper vents closed. Um, the big design feature um, and uniqueness of this helmet is, and Shuey in particular, is that they mould air channels into their EPS liner. What that means is this has probably the best airflow in any helmet out at the moment. You'll also find within the visor comes supplied in the box with pin lock. Now if you don't know what pin lock is, we'll put it in layman's terms. It's a moisture absorbing layer. Basically what that means, it doesn't mist up when you have the visor shut. You also have tear off points here if you want for the full racing helmet. So, now you or me on the road, not gonna use these. But if you're on the track, you can buy the tear offs which link in here and you can buy tinted tear offs as well so a lot of guys who are doing track days really like the fact that you can just have a tear away there do a couple of laps you get a fly splatted you just take the tear, tear off off now sizing wise uh, if you're a shoey head um, so having sort of fitted in shoe, they're pretty standard. So you're gonna be a small, medium, large, extra large. Working on four shell sizes. So it means a small is gonna be physically smaller than your large or your extra large. And don't forget to like and subscribe uh, to us for some more stuff from JNS.